What is going on? Everybody, this is Stryker welcoming you to episode number 122 of my Minecraft Let's Play, guys. So, I have done some work off camera, guys. So, let me take you outside first to show you what I have done. So, at the end. Can I. Can I. It, like, it's literally not letting me through the door. Okay, cool. So, at the end of last episode, we were trying to figure out some trees. Hold on. My mouse's DPI was goofy there. So, we were trying to figure out some trees. And we were having some difficulty with that, so I finally did get it all figured out and all squared away. So we do have a forest back, and we've got trees all over the place. I'll probably put one here, just because it's like the only bald spot around here. But we've got some trees, we've got some oak and some dark oak trees. And some of these you actually have to, like, strategically move around, because these oak trees are really low over here. So come back over here on the hill. And then I even filled in some trees that weren't there to begin with, like this oak tree, there wasn't anything there because a lot of this ground is new. So I put in all of those trees and all of these and everything like that. So this building is now blended. But also what was hysterical about this is when, this is weird. I don't like this. Whatever this is, this needs to go. It's probably from an old tree that was still here. That's weird. Can I grow a tree right here? I'll just stick that there, hope that grows. Okay, anyways, so when I was growing all of these trees, oh yeah, and I got a couple of big oak trees, which is awesome. I think it looks sick around this area. So when I was growing these trees, because they're so close to the building, like sometimes the leaves would push up against the building, but not only would they do that, but they would actually go into the inside of the building. Here's another large regular oak tree, which I think they're so cool when you use them as like a feature piece. But anyways, the leaves came through and they were like sticking through the wall and everything. So I had to go around with shears. I think I got like a stack of leaves because they were poking all through the wall. They don't delete the blocks that are already placed, but if there is a space, an air block, they will put leaves there if that's where the leaves are supposed to go. I also brought a water source over here because I have all these buckets of water, but I needed I needed water and I will show you that. So I did, a, I, did, I did a bit of work. So let's go ahead and start over here with the eatery that I talked about. Oh, I need to grab my crafting bench, hold on. Yeah, my inventory is an absolute mess and I apologize for that, but a lot of these pieces we're still, you know, we're gonna be using. So. I got this terrace thing going on above. We had it in a 3x3 grid, and it just, it was really cluttered when I looked at it again. So I went back through, it's now a 5x5, five five, but it's also, I guess, interlaced, I don't know. Everything is between each other, so it, it doesn't line up. And these lamps are also, you know, these are on this post here, these are on that post there. Same thing, this moved over to that post and everything like that. So there isn't a straight line of lamps. You can see there's this one here, and then there's a break, or if we come over here, there's this one here, a break, and then that one. So everything worked out. I did also have to add a couple of pieces of wood, because I had forgot, like I think I left this piece out, and everything like that. So we now have an eatery over here. We've got a bunch of random tables and chairs. So we've got some regular booths, right? Just two seaters. We got like a lounge one seater right here, another two seater. A single chair, just just in case, you know, if somebody just pops in for a quick lunch or whatever. Got another double piece over here. I'll probably put another single chair that way. A couple of these. A lot of these, because I feel like a lot of people come here with a friend or their spouse or a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. We've got a big booth table. We've got, this is just, I don't know, this looks cool. You know, you just slide into each side of the booth and you can eat at the table and everything like that. We've got a corner booth here. So, yeah, these lights, unfortunately, they do look cool. I love them. I love that they hang down from the ceiling and everything like that. And I think that going with regular glowstone was the right decision. But what sucks is that it doesn't light up this area enough to keep... Oh, yeah, I need some more wool. It doesn't light up the area enough to keep mobs from spawning. So I ended up, like, knocking out all of these torches over here. I left. I was doing some work over there, which we will get to here in a minute. And there was like a, four zombies, a creeper, three skeletons, and an enderman just chilling over here. And I was like, bruh, how? What do I do? So yeah, I had to put all these torches down. We'll figure out a lighting issue here. Okay, so the other thing is, this is what I want your guys' opinion on. That area is blocked off. I don't think any of these shops are actually gonna go into there unless we do like a very small like back room on one of them. So we can put things in the floor all the way up through this block because this block is the exposed block underneath. So anything from this block onwards, you can have stuff in the floor and it won't be seen. So maybe we can put some glowstone lamps and the redstone torches underneath it and everything like that. I'm not sure. Okay, so the other thing 
that this eatery has is a huge dining counter with several spots to order. So you can see that like I've got some stairs going on here. So like this is where you order or this is where you order. Same thing, order, order, and all the way through and a double counter on both sides. So this is cool. I like the, the zigzag pattern that it goes with because this is kind of randomized. This is very, you know, straight line, and then this is zigzag, kind of like the building itself. So I think it's cool. I think it's cool. So let me take you through the kitchen and what we're working with. We have two industrial size double fridges made out of tons of iron, guys. These are four iron blocks and two iron doors apiece, which is really expensive on iron, but, you know, if we're going for a mega build, we might as well put the time into it that it deserves. We've got, okay, so this is like your, your everything kind of handle. This is like ketchup and mustard and, and mayonnaise and, and all kinds of stuff that you can get from here. And then this, oh, I, I broke it, guys. Hold up. Give me this back. I should be able to just place that. Okay, and then this is the soda fountain. So, you know, you pour your drink and then this is the soda catch that falls into the deeper piece down there. So that's where you get your drinks. So we've got some above the fridge storage. Same with under there. Everything is the same over here on this side as well. Same design and everything like that. I had to put some torches back here as well. So then we've got, we've got, okay, so these are just assorted appliances. So what we could say, like, this is a dishwasher and this is a dishwasher and then like this is a deep fryer and this is something else uh but everything else is a grill and you can see that because it's even on which is what this redstone torch is if you take away the torch the grill isn't on it still looks cool but it needs a torch but also because we're doing this this torch idea i don't think we can put it up any higher we cannot since we're doing the torch idea we need to make a smoke catch to hide these torches you know like a, a vent above it to get rid of the smoke and then we can just blend it in with the building and up to the roof. Uh, we've got a couple of sinks which are mi missing some handles. Do I even have cobble? I don't have cobble. So we need to get some handles over here for these sinks. And then these... What were these? I think these might have been the dishwashers. I think these are the dishwashers. But anyways, a bunch of assorted uh, appliances. And then we've also got the carpet here. I don't know if you guys are very familiar with restaurants, but typically in their kitchen area, they have like rubber type stuff that you stand on that way you don't slip and fall in case there's a spill so we've got oops so we've got that going around in front of all of these that way you can't slip and fall in front of these all all these appliances that are on so today we're actually going to be doing some work over here getting some smoke catches and fixing the sinks and then the other thing that i wanted to show you guys is i actually outlined where all the shops are going to be so this one here is going to be a music st uh, shop music shop this one is going to be animal related so like the saddles and everything like that this is the meat shop. I, I went with the small place because I feel like if you're getting specialty meats, it's gonna be a nice like one person owned, one person like creator everything shop. So this is gonna be our meat shop. Then we've got a sapling shop, which is gonna be kind of like a bonsai area and we'll have like mini trees and stuff in here and everything. So it'll look really cool. So don't you worry about that. This is our jewelry place. We already had decided on that because this is the one that is directly across from the entranceway and you always want your best stuff to be most visible. Then this is a farmer's market, so I actually broke these two together. So we're gonna do like carrots and potatoes and sugar cane and, and all of that, that farmy type stuff. So this is gonna be a farmer's market where you can buy some farming goods. Oh, we're gonna do seeds and hay and stuff. Excuse me, I almost died. And then this is gonna be our flower shop, which I have some really cool ideas for. So this is gonna be a flower shop, so it's gonna be basically all of our organic stuff that's not a tree, basically. Okay, and then lastly, we have the Liquor Wonderland. So I went for a little bit of alliteration, but I didn't want to do liquor and then another L word. This does have an L in it, Wonderland. But, you know, we already have the, the library libations in the other building, so I didn't want to do complete alliteration. So, like I said, not all of these shops are going to be confined to, you know, this is where your shop ends. So this shop actually comes out, you know, you've got the welcoming carpet here. You've got uh, several different brews, and I have them all pointed to this side because, like, if you think about wine, they always store it at an angle because it's super easy to store it that way based on the way that the bottle is shaped. So, I mean, if we sit here, can I, okay, I can rotate this from here. If we just have it sitting like this, it looks boring, but if we do this, it adds some character, you know? We got some countertops. We've got some actual brewing stations here so they can distill their own liquor or whatever more and then we've got the ever so rare top shelf liquor which has even got red carpet on it to distinguish it as being super rare we've got some top shelf liquor a nice little painting 
And then another counter here. This is what I'm going to call a cash register. Uh, there's really nothing you can do for a cash register, but if you just put something there, it looks funky. I put a, a thingy behind it, a lever, and boom, it's now a, a cash register. So I think that's all right. This is how you get employees back here, <clears throat> and this is all carpeted as well. So let me know what you guys think. I also brought in a hanging ceiling light with some extra support. It's a redstone lamp, so that's why I have this here. I was trying out other options with like redstone torches up against the wall or, you know, uh, even on the bottom here like a light switch, but it looks funky. And if you're out here, you're not really going to notice that because it almost blends in completely with the wall. So, let me know what you guys think about this. Oh, and the also, the other part, the reason why this counter sticks out here is to make it one wide intentionally. Think about what this is called. This is called a bottleneck. When you're, you've got stuff on both sides and you have to go in the middle. It's called a bottleneck. It like, it crunches the traffic together, right? And if they're selling liquor, it's a bottleneck. It makes so much sense. It's just, it's logical. I like it. I think it's, I think it's cool. I think it's a nice little, uh, you know, little extra piece. But whatever, guys, if you don't, if you don't feel it's as great as I think it is, that's okay too. Let me know what you guys think about that. I also have the doorway that's three tall instead of a two tall. Are they underneath? Excuse me, sir. This is a building for me. You put me on fire. I don't even have a water bucket. Here, I got, a, I got a water bottle. Can I put me out? Oh, I already went out. Okay, so let's go ahead and just drop this with the water buckets for now. What we need is we need some cobble. We need to make a couple of levers because we need to complete those sinks. All right, grab two pieces of cobble because we have two sinks over there, right? I think I did two. All righty, boom. Put those torches together in a bigger stack. Okay, so that's good. And then we also need to grab... Hold on. Let me go check in the house real fast. Like our actual house that I really don't live in anymore because I've been sleeping in the mall project. So I did use stone as a smoke catch. Okay. So let's go ahead and go grab some stone. It is going to match the floor, but I think there's enough separation of colors that will be okay. Where did I put the stone? I think it's over here, right? Yeah! Okay, so we're going to work on a design for for a smoke catch. And, uh, or I guess it's called, like, like, an oven hood. Also, we're gonna figure out what to do about these torches up top to keep things from spawning. I don't necessarily want to keep the torches, but I don't think it's too bad of an eyesore. So we'll figure it out. I could just theoretically slab over the top of everything with another material. Maybe even some stone. So anyways, we need... Is this gonna deactivate anything? No. What about here? No. Okay, so I think I like the sink face in that way. It is really close, though. What if we put it up one? Does that deactivate anything? No. Then that looks really weird. Okay, we're just gonna go, we're gonna go right here. Boom, it's a sink. And we're gonna go right here. Boom, it's a sink. Okay, so, smoke catch. These are all grills, right? And this torch needs to be hidden. So we're gonna need, like, it to look like it's going up that way. And then we can just bring it, this is gonna be a huge smoke catch for everything. Can we do something like this? Or is that gonna be way too bulky? Because if that's, that's really bulky. What if we just take out this front piece? That's not bad. It's not bad. What about just getting rid of this and making it just hug that wall? I could deal with that. Maybe if we only do just one? I mean, I know it'll expose our torch. It does leave a lot more room, and that, that torch is completely exposed. That's one I wanted to get rid of. So you'd have to be right up against it to see it. I kind of like that. I kind of do. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, give me some, not those, give me dirt. Let's go ahead and try this. What does that do? Nothing, it looks dumb. This is really, this is really weird. I kind of like it. Like I said, I kind of like it. It hugs the wall like I wanted it to. So we'd have to do the same thing over here. Let's look at it in like conjunction with each other. So we'll need it right here and then right here. So those kind of connect. That actually looks really cool now. Now that we're doing it that way, okay. So we'll need it to, to pop off this way and this way. So I think it's just gonna line the entire thing, which actually does make sense for a smoke catch to do that, just in case there's escaping gases, gaseous materials, you know what I'm saying? So we can do that. I think we can roll with it. I think we can roll with this, guys. What, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below, please. Please, I would love to see you guys comment a little bit more on the videos, you know? When I ask you to give me opinions, guys, I really do look. I check my comment section every day. I actually have my Google Chrome, because that's the browser of my choice, open to my subscriptions on YouTube, my comment section, 
and my email account. So I do check every single time I open up my browser, it, it pops up. So yeah, please, let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know what you guys think about this smoke catch. I'm gonna continue this all the way over there, put the smoke catch all the way up to the roof, and I'll have to figure out what to do over here. I think we can just put that straight through the wood, and that won't be a big deal, guys. So that's gonna bring it to the end of this episode. Please let me know what you guys think of this nice eatery over here. We are still going to be adding some tables and stuff like that. There's still a bunch of empty space. So don't worry about that. I just need more wool. That was basically my limiting uh, material. I've got all the oak wood in the world, and I've got plenty of glass for more tables. So let me know what you guys think of that. And then also, what you think of the Liquor Wonderland over there, where we can sell some, some potions and everything like that. I don't know if you heard that popping sound, but that was my ankle. It was lovely, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.